everyone, this is Nikash here. I'm back with a new problem today. So the problem what we're gonna solve is a fruit and basket. And this is one of the important problem asked in the Google interviews. So basically you have been given an uh, array of integers where i3 will be producing tree of i type of fruit. So in this case, the index zero will be producing a type two fruit and there's type three, type two and type two, okay? So basically you can start anywhere in the array and the condition is every time you start every at every index you reach you have to pick one pick one fruit and put it in your baskets so you have two baskets and you need to have only two different types of fruits here you cannot have let's say you had uh, one here then you cannot have three with one here so basically you need to have one type of fruit in the first basket and second type of fruit in the second basket okay and we need to find the maximum number of fruits what we can put in these two baskets so in this case so in the first basket, I can put a type 2 fruit, which is 2, 2, 2. So there are 3 fruits of type 2. And in the second basket, I can put a type 3 fruit. So there's just one. So the total output would be 4. So the problem would be much clearer once we go over the logic as well as the code. Okay. So in this case, we take 5 different variables. So the first one is the last fruit. And second one is the second last fruit. So both will be initially, initially initialized to minus 1. And we'll take count of the last fruit which will be initially zero okay because we haven't seen any fruit yet and we'll take two variables current max and maximum so this is the variable what we will be returning but the current max is for the temporary for every time we start we need to keep a track of how many number of fruits how many maximum number of fruits what we can store in a basket and then we'll compare that with the maximum and whatever is maximum we'll return that okay so let's go over this input and see how our logic works okay so we pick every element and for the first time when we pick 2, so our fruit becomes 2. So we go ahead and check if this fruit is equal to the last fruit or second last fruit. That's our first condition. So in this case, it's not equal to both of them. So this is the else case. Current max will be updated by the count of the last fruit plus 1. So current max is the count of last fruit which is 0 plus 1. So in this case, we don't update. So in the second condition, we compare fruit to the last fruit. So 2 is it equal to minus 1? It is not. So we go for the else and update our count of last fruit to 1. So the count of last fruit becomes 1. And then third case, we update our second last fruit and last fruit. So last fruit becomes the current fruit what we are seeing, which is 2. And second last fruit is the, which we have not seen yet, which is minus 1. Okay. Okay. And then we update our maximum. So maximum is max of current max and the max. In this case, it's still 0. Okay. So let's pick the next element. Now our fruit becomes 3. So we go ahead and check if the fruit is equal to the last fruit or second last fruit. So 3 is not equal to 2 and 3 is not equal to minus 1. So we come for the else case and update our current max with count of last fruit plus 1. So count of last, last fruit is 1 and so 1 plus 1 which becomes 2. Right? So 1 plus 1 which becomes 2. So we update our current max with 2. Next, for the second condition, we check if 3 is equal to last fruit 2, which is not. So in the else case, we update our count of last fruit as 1. This is still 1. And in this case, the fruit, which is 3, is not equal to last fruit 2. Yes, this condition is satisfied. So we update our second last fruit as well as the fruit. So second last fruit becomes last fruit, which is 2. And last fruit becomes the current fruit, which is 3. Okay, then we update our maximum. So maximum is the max the maximum of maximum comma current max in this case it's 2 so it becomes 2 okay next we pick the so here if you can see right right now we have already seen two fruits 2 comma 3 both are different type so our last fruit is 3 which we just saw and second last fruit is 2 which we saw before that and in this case the maximum we have is 2 because we have one of type 2 one of type 3 so our maximum represents 2 and count of the last fruit, the last fruit was 3 and how many times have we seen it? Just one. So count of last fruit, last fruit becomes 1. Let's go over the next element. So f is 2, that's the current fruit. So f is equal to last fruit, is 2 is equal to 3? No. But it is equal to the second last fruit. So we update our current max with, we just increment our current max. So in this kind of case current max is 2, we increment it to 3. Because we have two fruits of type 2 and one fruit of type 3. So our current max is 3. And then we compare if fruit is equal to last fruit. Fruit is 2 and last fruit is 3. It is not. So we just update our current of last fruit by 2, 1. So 
so it is already one okay then we compare if two is not equal to the last root three yes this is satisfied so we update our second last root and last root so our last root becomes the current root which is two and second last root becomes the previous element which is three so here this is the last root and second last root last root is two and second last root is three so then we go ahead and update our maximum so maximum is the maximum two so maximum of two comma three which is three now we pick the last element again the fruit is equal to two in this case the fruit is equal to last fruit yes it is equal so we go ahead and increment the current max so current max is three which should be incremented to four then in this case fruit is equal to last fruit yes it is equal so we increment the count of the uh, last fruit by one so one plus one which becomes two then we go ahead and check if fruit is not equal to last fruit in this case it is equal so we don't update our second last fruit or last fruit we just update our maximum so maximum of 3 comma 4 it is 4 now we have encountered the end of array so we return maximum which is 4 so that's our answer so this problem can be solved in various other, me other methods by using stack or hash map which uses additional memory but this logic is much simpler and efficient because it doesn't use any additional memory and the time complexity of this problem is o of n n being the number of elements given in the input array okay and so that's it with this problem do like share and subscribe and if you want to get notified whenever i post a new video please hit the notification button and keep learning every day thank you bye bye